All right, Mike D., let's say this plays out. Saints have a top five pick. Um, it doesn't look like anybody's going to beat Carolina um, uh, on the race to the bottom. But let's say the Saints are, you know, somewhere in that, I don't know, three to seven range or something. Um, I know it's early, but they go out and get a new coach on the offensive side of the football, Ben Johnson or another hot shot OC. What direction do you think they should go if they have a big time top pick? You got to go quarterback. You have to. Um, you got to rebuild your offensive and defensive lines. Uh, but um, for me, if if I got a top five pick, I have to go quarterback. Uh, it still, you know, it might be your only opportunity to get one of those top guys. Uh, you got to be bad before you can get one. Uh, Cincinnati wasn't a great team. They got Joe Burrow. Uh, and they became very competitive real fast. Uh, you look at the commanders, had the second overall pick in the draft. Uh, you got Jaden Daniels. You're pretty competitive at this stage. And Jaden's just magic. Um, and you can see it. And he's the coolest cat out on. You almost got to take his blood pressure uh, to make sure he's still breathing. Uh, that That's how he is. And I think the greatest example is if I'd have told you this a year and a half ago, that the Houston Texans are one of the best teams in the NFL, you'd have put me away. <laughs> they got C.J. Stroud. But they got the right coach in D'Amico Ryans, and they got the right quarterback in C.J. Stroud. And sometimes um, it doesn't work that way, but and we're watching something happen that is rare in the NFL a rookie quarterback not playing like a rookie. He's playing like a seasoned pro. We saw it last year with C.J. Stroud with the Houston Texans. We're watching it again with the Washington Commanders and Jaden Daniels. He looked like he's done this eight or nine years. I mean, you know, that is rare in the NFL. Rare to see it. Most of the time, these guys struggle. Even Caleb Williams. And you, and you saw it. I mean, uh, he had he's going to ride the roller coaster. At times, he shows you he's got a lot of skills. And then other times, he's way off with throws. Uh, we're seeing it with Drake May. Uh, Sean Payton seeing it with Bo Nix. Even though they really took the belt out and spanked the Saints' backside, there were five passes of 12 yards or more against the Saints, he missed wide open receivers. Um, now, he's got some escapability that's pretty good. But uh, again, you go through those growing pains with a young quarterback. Man, the growing pains ain't a lot in Washington, and it wasn't a lot in Houston. Both that is something we don't see a lot. We saw it. A few years back with Dak as a rookie with the Cowboys, that he came in there and he played like a a veteran. But there are few and far between uh, to see that type of thing. I know Peyton Manning says this at Manning Camp every year. He has all the counselors. And, you know, it's anywhere from 45 to 55 starting college quarterbacks. And, you know, he goes through this long speech and he ends it with, I ask you guys to do one thing for me and that in your rookie year, you finally eclipse my interception record as a first year starting quarterback, which is 28. He said, I've held that record way too long. (laughs) One of you guys responsibility to break.